Good morning, Chieftains. It's time for your CSN update. For the week of February 20, 2018, I am your host, Jake, alongside my co-host, Deegan. Archduke Deegan, that's what it is. And we're thrilled to announce it's another short week. Welcome back after a long weekend. And thanks, teachers, for letting your students watch our show, even though it's not many of you guys, and it's uh, a little bit hurtful. It's, it's a little rough. Well, community college bound, four-year university, or trade school bound seniors, do you need help with that FAFSA application? Alongside the Dream, applica Dream Act application, well, if you do, you are in luck. Wednesday, February 21st, there is a workshop in the AOB trading room. It goes on from 5 until 6.30. You can actually have your applications all filled out by the time you leave. If you bring a couple things, your social security number, your parents' tax forms, any investment records where your parents own property or stocks, and you need your FAFSA ID number. If you have all of those things, you are in luck. Stop by Wednesday night to get access to that cash. More free money? Seniors, hopefully you've signed up with Mr. Ramirez in the counseling office to get email updates on scholarship opportunities. Scholarships are available for everyone, including the Italian Catholic Federation. I'm an Italian at heart. This scholarship is offering $400. You can go online at www.icf.org. Keep in mind, no scholarships, wait, uh, is too, whatever, is small. If uh, it takes you an hour to fill out an application, that means potentially you would be earning $400 an hour. Oh boy, not bad cash flow for school. So, Jamo online. Also, stop at the counseling office if we need to add your name to the email chain to receive those scholarship links. All right. Well, free money, free money certainly is something that we definitely need to take advantage of, Deegan. Today is a money. gigantic day. If you are a spring sport student athlete, which both of us are, all but two of the spring sport teams are holding tryouts today. You need to have your physical grades up in order to try out. Baseball and tennis, you guys are already done, but today opens the tryouts but will be swimming, track and field, badminton, boys volleyball, and softball. Good luck to all of those of you who are trying out. If you don't know where to go, check out with Diaz in room 311. I love 311. Also, if you're wondering what I am with swim, I'm a timer. Okay, the CAF competitions. That's our sports teams make it. We make it to it. Okay, we're doing all right. From football to both boys and girls water polo, we're uh, getting pretty used to playoffs around here. That's not... Let's not, uh, let's be frank. But also, Anne-Marie Masalenko is headed off to her second straight trip to state finals this week, and we caught up with her to see how it's going. Take a look. You know, I'm super excited to return this year. I hope to do better than last year. I'm really grateful to have the chance to represent Claremont and also the San Diego section. I'm at the same time nervous, though, um, training really hard to prepare for it. And also, I'm super grateful for my coaches and my teammates who really pushed me to get there and get where I'm going. Claremont High School is offering you the chance to ditch your little sister or brother. Yes, I know they're annoying. Send them to our sports camp over the first part of spring break. All kids from age kindergarten to eighth grade are welcome and it's free. The dates are Saturday, March 24th and it goes until Tuesday the 27th. This camp will feature football, soccer, cheer, and basketball. Tell the fam and clear the rugrats out of the house. Then you can have some peace and quiet, maybe throw a rager at the house. This is the third annual sports camp for the kids here at Claremont High School. If you or any of your family members need more information, contact Coach Diaz in room 311 once again, or your parents can go ahead and email him. Remember, students, the student store is open again during lunch. Come by, grab some ice cream, or grab some chips. We just restocked. Make sure you swing on by to the ASB room. Seniors. Get on your stuff. Get on it. Make sure you purchase grad night tickets, cap and gown, and yearbook. Preparing for your graduation. Not my graduation. That's been a little bit later. I'm graduating, man. I'm graduating. You are. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, that's all for announcements. And Griffin, we have already heard a lot about some sports, but what's going on with the rest of them? Hey, Chieftains. It's playoff time. Let's get hyped for the sports that made it. Last week, girls polo beat Fallbrook 8-2 to in the first round of CAF. As of filming, girls polo, boys and girls basketball, as well as boys wrestling are all still alive in the hunt for CAF supremacy. That could change very well by the time you see this. Well, that's all for today. Remember, everyone, it's a great day to be a Chieftain. Kevil, back to you.
Well, if you have any club promotions, li just like you, Jim Jarvis and Ping Pong Club, or you want us to send a news crew to your room, let us know in the ASB room, which is room 115. We would love to come by and get you on our CSN network. On February 12th, there was a basketball game featuring a lot of our chieftains, from boys and girls basketball to the circle of friends and ASB. It was the Unity game, and if you saw on KUSI, you already know it was a huge success. A very big success it was. Oh, yeah. The crowd was loud, and the finish of the game, you can't ask for more. It was an amazing ending. But where did the idea from this Unity game come from? Um, the athletic director at Point Loma, actually. And then um, Diaz was like, hey, let's go check this out. So we went last year to go see kind of how Point Loma did their, their program. And, and here at Claremont, we have specialty programs with our uh, physically handicapped program, our medically fragile, our visually impairment class. And so uh, we're like, how do we do this here at Claremont? But with the help of, of Diaz and Pena and myself, we just kind of made it happen here, so. And made it happen, they did. The athletes had a blast, they really did. But what was the driving force behind this original idea? Um, the coolest thing I saw at the Unity game at Point Loma was the energy of the whole school backing our students that don't often get the opportunity to be in this setting, in this platform, and, and really seeing our students that have um, different abilities to really thrive in this environment just really made it for Diaz and I to, to replicate it here with our own twist. And the Unity game did have its own twist, including an amazing seven points scored in the final 24 seconds, and the last basket was a buzzer beater. With 104 points scored, it was apparent this was not the first time the athletes had touched a basketball. We had about six weeks of practicing, and, and it's been great co having uh, Coach Pena out, too, of like incorporating every student with any kind of ability to participate in the game. So I'm really excited that all of our students are going to have the opportunity to, to ball it up. And it's obviously not about the competition. It's called the Unity Game for a reason. It draws students together in a different arena and allows students to learn from each other regardless of any differences. And I think that's the gift of our Circle of Friends students that they give to, to other students on campus is a gift of overflowing joy. And it's been awesome to see our Circle of Friends officers connect with our Circle of Friends members and just to really develop such a community here at Claremont. Well, not only is Miss Dempsey stunning, she has one of the biggest hearts on campus. And, well, she wants to make this an, an annual event here at Claremont, so if you miss this year, you should be definitely be there next year. Thanks for watching, Chieftains. You know what's up. Kita naraha i azul. Bye-bye. Here comes the Y'all don't really worry like yeah. Here comes the Here comes the Here comes the Y'all don't really worry like yeah. Here comes the Here comes the Here comes the Y'all don't really worry like